Jan Newton of Newton Custom Interiors and today I'm going to show you how to make this pillow without a sewing machine. We're going to hand stitch the cover together. What you're going to need for this project are a pillow form. I'm using an 18 by 18 inch pillow form but whatever size pillow you want just get a form that size. You're going to need your fabric uh, you'll probably need at least a half a yard of fabric. If you have a large print, you may need a bigger piece. And it also depends on what size your pillow is going to be. You'll also need scissors, straight pins, and a neat needles to do the hand sewing. I like these John James Long Darners and then also some thread. I like this dual duty plus hand quilting thread. And I'm using a black, a dark color, so that it will show up easily for you on the video. But you would want to match your thread to whatever color fabric you're using. Normally I would probably use a white thread for this fabric. So our first step is going to be taking our front and back sides and pinning them together. I've also pinned the bottom of each of my pieces of fabric so that I know that's where my bottom side is going to be that I'm going to leave open to insert the pillow form later. So I, you just put your front and back sides together. The right sides are together on the inside and the wrong sides are out. I start pinning on the bottom edge about two inches away from the corner. That's where I'm going to start my sewing later. I'm going to pin my last pin about two inches away from my fourth corner here on the bottom edge of the pillow cover. I forgot to mention how big you should cut your piece of fabric for your pillow. What I like to do is whatever size pillow form I'm using, like today I'm using an 18 by 18 inch pillow form, I would cut my fabric the same size, so 18 by 18 inches. I don't add for in for the seam allowances because I like my pillow covers to be kind of um, snug on the pillow and not too loose. To get started with our hand sewing, I'm going to thread my needle. Just simply put the thread through the eye of the needle. And I like to use a double strand of thread to make it durable. I put the two ends together and I simply wind them around my finger, twist the threads, and then pull it tight to make my knot. I'm going to start sewing on this first corner two inches away and my seam allowances are going to be one half inch meaning I'm going to stitch one half inch away from the edge of the fabric. I'm going to start on the bottom of my fabric and just bring my needle up through my knot's going to catch on the other side. I'm going to come over about an eighth of an inch. Let me get this pin out of the way. I'm going to come over about an eighth of an inch away from where I came up and go back down to the bottom side of the fabric again. 
and sometimes your threads will get tangled up. You just need to straighten them out. There's my first, first stitch. So I'm going to come up from the bottom again. Come over about an eighth of an inch. Come back down to the bottom side again. Up from the bottom, about an eighth of an inch over. And down from the top, an eighth of an inch over. I'm just going to continue on until I get to the corner. And then I'll show you how to turn the corner. <clears throat> you can make your stitches smaller if you'd like. I'm making mine a little bit bigger than I normally would so that you can see what I'm doing in the video. So up from the bottom and down from the top. This will just take a little bit of time. It, of course, won't be as fast as a sewing machine, but uh, it's a, it is a good option if you don't have a sewing machine and you, you would like to make your own pillow covers. Okay, so we're about a half inch away from the second side of the fabric, and now I'm just going to pivot and start going up this side of the fabric. And I'm going to continue sewing around all three sides of my pillow cover until I get back to the fourth corner. I am coming up my first side of my pillow and I'm already running out of thread so I wanted to show you uh, how to easily knot your thread and then start with a new um, threaded needle. To knot off the thread of the needle that you're using, just take a tiny, tiny little stitch of fabric, pull your needle, but don't pull it all the way through. You want to leave a little loop of threads. Simply put your needle through the loop and then pull it tight and that will make your knot. If you want to make sure it's uh, really knotted well, you can do it a second time. Okay, I've finished hand sewing around my whole pillow. I'm back at my fourth corner and I've stopped where my pin is about two inches away from the last corner. And I'm just going to show you one more time how to knot off the thread at the end. Simply take a little bit of fabric, <clears throat> and don't pull it all the way through. Put your needle through the loop and pull on through. Take another little bit of fabric, put your needle through the loop, and pull on through. <clears throat> I'm going to do that one more time because my knot pulled through. Take a little bit of fabric, put your needle through the loop, and then pull through. I'm just going to clip that thread off. Our next step is to clip the four corners of our pillow so that when we turn it right side out, you won't have as much bulk in the corners. It makes for a nicer corner. 
So I'm just going to cut at an angle across the corner, making sure not to cut into my seam that I hand sewed. I'll do that on all four corners. Next we're going to turn our pillow right sides out. I'm going to take my pins out that we're marking the bottom. Get my pieces of fabric out of the way. And I'm just going to go to one of my corners and turn it right side out. And to make a nice crisp corner, I'm going to use my, it's called that purple thing tool help me push that corner out. Now you can see my black stitching on the corners here. If I would used a thread that matched my fabric, that would not show at all. But it is going to show on this one because I used the black that, uh, thread. And then you just do the same thing for all four corners. Push it out. <clears throat> and then our last corner. That nice and crisp. Okay, so we've got our pillow cover made. I'm going to insert our pillow form. And I like to do kind of a karate chop in the middle of the pillow and then with my other hand hold on to the two sides of the pillow. And then insert the pillow form into the cover this way. I want to make sure that the corners of the pillow form are into the corners of the pillow cover. Our next step is to pin this bottom opening closed. And I like to start in the center, folding under each of the edges of the pillow under about a half inch, and then just pinning from the center to one side, and then from the center to the other side. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to hand sew the pillow closed. I've done another video um, that explains that process, and I will put the link to it on the screen here. It's called How to Hand Sew a Pillow Closed. So then that will be your final step, just to hand sew the pillow, and then you've made a nice pillow with um, hand stitching instead of a sewing machine. Mm -hmm.